Here are the starters for race five. Win play show, exacta trifecta wagering. Hayes Memorial, a grand circuit race for two-year-old trotting fillies. Number one, Electric Muscles, owned by Glenby Farms of Boynton Beach, Florida. Trained by Brooke Nichols, and Brooke is the driver. Number two, Sip the Wine, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario. Trained by John Johnson. Barrett Lindstedt is up. Number three, Graceful Touch, is owned by Peretti Farms, Incorporated of Cream Ridge, New Jersey. Chuck Sylvester trains, and John Campbell drives. Number four, Super Sleek, owned by Royal Wire Products, Incorporated of North Royalton, Ohio, Don Swick, the trainer driver. Number five, Memory Maker, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, and Jim Edgar of Seymour, trained by Roger Welch, the driver is Dave McGee. And number six is Sly Fox, owned by Nanny Stables, and Thomas Costanzo, Jr. of Staten Island, trained and driven by Robert Blanton, Jr., whom we welcome to the DuCoin State Fair. We are used to seeing Robert on the East Coast. He has been a major factor in the New Jersey Sire Stakes program for a number of years. One of his few, maybe his first visit ever to DuCoin, so we it's welcome him to Southern Illinois. since 1945. By the way, one bit of DuCoin history, the filly, number three, Graceful Touch, carries a lot of it because her father, Pine Chip, won the World Trotting Derby for trainer Chuck Sylvester and driver John Campbell. Her dam, Act of Grace, won the Philly World Trotting Derby. And her grandmother, Keystone Profile, won the Philly World Trotting Derby. So a very rich DuCoin pedigree for number three. They're at the post, gates rolling. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Sly Fox from the far outside. Sip the wine showing speed toward the inside. These two come to the front past Electric Muscles, who gets away a close-up third, but drops back into position from that speed duel up front. And then Graceful Touch, followed by Super Sleek, who's off stride. Memory Maker moves up one spot around her. Sly Fox is the leader. Going toward the quarter-mile mark, opens up by two lengths. Sip the wine is second. Electric Muscles third, followed by Graceful Touch. Then a gap of four more lengths to Memory Maker, another seven back to Super Sleek. 29 and 1 was the time for the opening quarter. Sly Fox on the lead by a length and a half. Sip the Wine goes second by a length. Electric Muscles is racing in third. Everyone stays single file. Margin of two more lengths back to Graceful Touch. Gap of three more back to Memory Maker. And over 20 back to Super Sleek. Here comes Electric Muscles ranging up on the outside from third to second to take the lead by a neck. Electric Muscles leads it at the half. Sly Fox is second by two. Sip the Wine is now third. The half in 58 seconds. Electric Muscles got the lead, but only for a moment because Sly Fox fought back. Electric Muscles now decides to back away, trying to find a spot toward the rail to catch a breather, but Sip the Wine was there to close the gap, and suddenly Electric Muscles is parked and dropping back off the pace around the final turn. Sly Fox leads it by two and a half lengths. Sip the Wine second by a length. Electric Muscles parked third, and then Graceful Touch and the odds-on favorite, Graceful Touch, is still seven lengths off the lead in the fourth position, 126 and four for three quarters. Sly Fox leads it by six lengths off the final turn. Now here comes Graceful Touch, and Graceful Touch has plenty of ground to make up because Sly Fox is moving by the eighth pole, but Graceful Touch is coming toward the inside. Graceful Touch on the charge. Sly Fox is drifting out in the lane, still leads it by two, but Graceful Touch is on the move down toward the rail. Graceful Touch, Sly Fox drifting wider still, Graceful Touch, Sly Fox, here's the line. Graceful Touch gets it by a long neck from Sly Fox, who was home second, and Sip the Wine was a distant third in 156 and one. Three, six, exacta, $8.20. We'll take a look at the trifecta shortly. Graceful Touch is owned by Bill Peretti's Peretti Farms Incorporated of Cream Ridge, New Jersey. Trained by Chuck Sylvester, driven by John Campbell, the winner, number three, Graceful Touch. Pear Erickson bred this pine chip filly from Act of Grace by Valley Victory. 156 and 1 ties the fastest mile of the year in North America by a two year old trotting filly. We'll talk to John Campbell next. Hall of Famer, native of Canada, 
Told you that John won the World Trotting Derby with Pine Chip here. That was in 93 for trainer Chuck Sylvester. John, this filly, we were telling the folks, she's by a Trotting Derby winner, out of a Trotting Derby winner. You drove both Pine Chip and Act of Grace. Is this filly like either one of those trotters? Well, she shows a lot of ability, that's for sure. Um, we've been quite high on her, and she's kind of taken a conservative schedule so far, but uh, you know, she keeps improving each start, and, that, and that's a pretty good effort for her second lifetime start here today. Look very good indeed. Looking ahead to Saturday's race, uh, the draw, the post position draw is out for the Trotting Derby. Any thoughts? Not too much. It's a very competitive race, especially the way the draw shook out. Uh, you know, some of the couple of ones to beat are on the outside, but uh, I think it's going to be a very competitive race. I think it's going to be a lot of action going into that first turn. Should make for an interesting day. John, thanks a lot. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much, Kurt. That's John Campbell. He's the winning driver in today's fifth race.